very happy to be here this evening to see such a good crowd of unionists who I hope are united in defending our country against the incursion and the attempt by the EU to annex us from the rest of the United Kingdom. rally here tonight. And I stand here as a unionist who unashamedly supported Brexit, who unashamedly opposed a protocol, and who unashamedly will ensure that the fight against it continues. who appear tonight. I can tell you one thing. The BBC are recording this tonight. And the one thing that the unionist hitting BBC will love to report is that unionists are not united in this fight. That unionists are playing with this. Can I, can I just say, can I, can I just say something to you as, as unionists, as unionists, can I just say something as unionists, do you really think that the kind of division which as some are seeking to display here tonight is going to give any fear to our enemies. It will give succor to our enemies. That's the problem. We're facing an election. We're facing an election. We, we are facing an election which is going to be a deciding factor in how the Unions, the, the UK government and the EU view the future of Northern Ireland. And I can tell you, I can tell you, one of the things that the EU are seeking to do is to wait until after this election to ensure that there's a change in the political landscape in Northern Ireland which they will exploit. And I would have thought, I would have thought, that the th what unionists should have been doing here tonight is uniting, uniting against the protocol, uniting around each other, uniting, and you know, all I can say to you folks, hold on. <laughs> Gentlemen, I understand a lot of the feeling in this crowd, but it is important that we hear what people have to say, and I do appeal to you to listen to the speeches. You will get your opportunity at the polls to, to express yourself tonight. Tonight it's important that we listen to all unionist voices because the people who are here are people opposed to the protocol. Let's respect that and let's hear what Sami and others has to say. And, and I thank you for that, Jim, because we're on the same side. We're on the same side. Jim Allister and I have fought together against the protocol. We have fought against the imposition of the protocol and let me and let me and let me say to you folks the the let me say we did not implement the protocol the, the, the british government brought the protocol in 
and implemented it. We are seeking to make sure it is not implemented because the treatment of Northern Ireland is no different than how Putin is seeking to treat the Ukraine. To trying and if, a go if our government, if our government can stand up for the Ukraine, then my, t my message to them tonight is stand up for the UK, stand up for Northern Ireland, stand up for the people of the country to which you, which you govern. You claim to be a unionist government, then stand up for unionism and stand up for the union. And that's what, and folks, I, I would not be here tonight if I thought that there was not a determination within my party and from my leader to fight against this protocol and to make sure that it was not successful. And it is not, we are not asking for a tinkering of it, we are asking for a removal of it. Let's make that quite clear. And that is the bottom line. And indeed, we have made it clear that if the protocol is not sorted out, then the Assembly, which is supposed to be the body which takes the protocol through, will not be, it will not be sitting, because we will not be supporting an Assembly which implements the protocol. We will support an Assembly which is meant to implement the protocol. The, the, the main the danger of the protocol, I know people have look upon the, the, the border at, the, Irish, uh, the, at the, the, the posts of entry into Northern Ireland, they look at the economic damage it causes, but the real damage of the protocol is the fact that EU law will now apply to Northern Ireland, it will apply to Northern Ireland in a way which will separate us from the rest of the United Kingdom, and that's why unionists have to unite Regardless of the opinion, well, regardless of how you think about how others have performed, what history there is between the different parties, what your your prejudices are when it comes to voting, we're all we're all unionists in this, and we're all unionists in this. And if we do not, let me say this, folks: if we do not unite in this battle, then our enemies will be quite happy that we are divided and that we go our separate ways and that the effect will be that they will win, we will lose. There was an old saying which comes down the ages, united we stand and divided we fall. And if we are not united in this battle, then we will fall. Our enemies will prevail. Sinn Féin will be laughing at us. The, the EU will get its way. The Irish government will succeed in what it's done. And that's why it is important that for all of us, that at this time, coming up to the election, coming up to this election, there are three things that must be done. And the first thing is that the union, unionist parties themselves and unionist politicians have not have got to avoid using the constitutional difficulty we're in to settle scores, to backfight, to try and uh, score party political points. We've got to avoid that. At the election, there's a duty on every unionist to come out and make sure that there's a tsunami of unionist votes and after the election, there's an obligation on those who are elected to make sure that they do not do anything to ensure that the protocol makes any ground in Northern Ireland at all. Those are the things that need to be done. And folks, I am glad I am here tonight. I have listened to what you've said, but I hope that you will also listen to the message which I have given you. And that is that regardless of how you may feel, regardless of what you may drag out, regardless of the way in which the media may try to divide unionism, that we, we look for a common cause, we unite behind a common banner, and we do our best to do the, the, what we need to be done to defeat the conspiracy, which is designed to take us out of the United Kingdom. And if we don't do that, if we don't do that, then we will be and we'll only have ourselves to blame. And I hope that this night in Market Hill will not be remembered as a night when unionists divided, but a night when unionists united and made a clear answer to the government from the 
so the snowy streets of Market Hill at snow surrender. <laughs> 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 